Yes, we are here, we are here, we are here. <laughs> the vehicle was coming to us, so to speak, with her hands on her hips, saying, what is this upgrade all about? <laughs> and, and so we did prompt her to explore it because she is aware that many around the world we're all experiencing the same. And so she's curious, what is this? And while she knows it's upgrades, why specifically the throat? And we're saying you're healing from the words you've been saying about yourselves and potentially about others. We say that when you feel so hurt, about yourself and you speak poorly of oneself you send that energy to your throat to speak with bitterness when you dismiss yourself when you disempower yourselves that energy of disempowerment can still linger in the throat area and while the throat has been a victim <laughs> of being of service to make the sounds as you dismiss yourself by saying things like, well, I don't know. And when you do know, you just don't know if you have the courage to speak your truth. When you say things like, hmm, that's we are flooding the vehicle of, of times when she has belittled herself throughout her whole lifetime here. And so we are able now to heal and release because this is no longer a problem. She's healed from this. She has been able to love herself so much and forgive herself and accept herself that now the healing can begin. You have to reach that point in your mindset to then be able to truly, throughout all of time, heal. And while you don't see the healing of the mindset, you can definitely see the healing of the body and how it is taking time to shake off that density, to shake off the residue of those mindsets as it was impacted. Some of you are noticing the lungs through the shock of hearing such information you were not willing and ready and prepared for. Some of you are feeling the tenseness, the pain, of your heart, that is not a coincidence, as you're feeling very heavy hearted, as you have started to realize that you have missed opportunities to love yourself and missed opportunities to love all, as you are starting to notice that when you were hurt and struggling with your own emotions and expecting others to love you and empower you, you were not aware of what they were going through, what they were not able to even give you to support you as they were going through other experiences. But when you are only focusing on your own hurt, it is like you're in, everyone else's hurt is invisible to you as you're only focusing, hyper-focusing in some regards, to your own issues, your own feelings. It's almost as if you can't consider that you all have the same range of emotions. But yet, as you are feeling yours so intensively, you seem to be holding it and closely looking at, closely examining and feeling it so intensively, you're not able to see what is even occurring in the room and see that all potentially could be feeling the same feelings. 
And so how else, how can you be able to be of service to others when you're not even a noticing or appreciating that others have their own range of emotions? And so it becomes complicated as you have expectations on others to do for you as you should be doing for self. There is so much to be said here. And we like to be able to speak to you more on a one-on-one -on -one individual experience because we have such a broad range of audiences listening. We are seeing all of you listening. And this is a marvelous example of how there is no such thing as time because when you're listening to us now this could be days after this present experience for the vehicle in her now but yet she can feel you she's always been able to feel you just like you can all feel each other but when you're only focusing on what you think is your own feelings and reacting and trying to process what you must do to be able to release or heal from those holding emotions. It can be quite distracting for many. The emotions are not something you should be afraid of. They're all important experiences, but you must be able to know what you are feeling and see if you have mislabeled them along the way. We find that it is not an accident that you have been confused and disorientated and even punished and dismissed to try to find the right verbiages and words for your feelings. And you have been trained at a very young age to not be able to speak your own feelings and thoughts. And so you have been dismissing yourself for a long time as you didn't quite feel safe to share. And when you have felt like when you were sharing, it wasn't being heard. At one point in your time of life, this still could be a hang-up for many as they're still trying to seek to be heard. And we are saying for those people, well, you can hear yourself. You can hear yourself just like you can heal yourself. This is all about self. And that's not, not self-indulgent. That is self-inner work. That is your responsibility. That is your focus to be fully empowered. You must do that mindset adjustment to honor and love yourselves and be kind to yourselves and kind to others and accept yourself and accept others. And while you may be so worried that those people that you love so dearly don't know the same information that you do. Well, you want them to have the same information as you do because you love them. But then there comes conditions to that love for them because you want them to know everything that you know so you can talk to them about what you know. That could be selfish in some perspectives. Because you're not accepting them for where they're at. And you're loving them with disappointment, with resentment, with bitterness. Because you are feeling like they're not doing a service to you. And so we say fully love everyone and accept everyone. And notice how instantly you feel your inner peace. How you feel your acceptance of them and self, and that balance. That is true harmony. 
And that is where you need to be focusing on and working towards. And so as you noticing the bodies are healing themselves, it is not about them being healed in some regards because you know you are dropping these bodies at some point soon. It is about releasing the density so then you can merge naturally beyond the carbon-based body. And so you're trying to wriggle out of this heavy density. You're trying to wriggle out of this meat suit that you're holding on to so firmly. And so when you can heal and accept all choices that have impacted the body, you are, again, we say, trying to stuff an advanced soul, a gigantic advanced soul into a skinny jeans of a meat suit of your humanoid bodies. And you're pushing and pushing and pushing. And so, of course, you're going to have upgrades. Of course, you're going to have to stretch out those skinny jeans. <laughs> and right now, some of you are stretching out your throats. Right now, some of you are stretching out your lungs. And right now, some of you are stretching out your hearts. Because you've dropped your exception, your you've dropped you've dropped some of your perspectives and expectations of others. And now that you've noticed you've been doing this to them under the guise and under the assumption that you love them, now you can truly love them and your heart's opening up to them. Because you're not resentful or bitter or frustrated or even worried that they are not at your level in your mindsets. So you're growing. And when you have acceptance, your heart expands tremendously because you have complete, complete balance of compassion for them, acceptance of them. You need to start seeing them as more vulnerable little children than judging their meat suits and judging their adult bodies. This is a beautiful time for beautiful acceptance. And so we know that many of you are wanting to empower yourselves as much as you can. And finding that balance, finding that true, honest acceptance of all, to love all with no exceptions and no conditions of how you must love all. And it truly isn't even about them at this point. It is about releasing you from that density of judgment. When you have complete balance and acceptance of all, this is when you can truly embody and empower yourselves with love. That is how you love yourself and how you get to love all. And it's not necessarily about doing or being more. It actually is simply quite less than that. It is simply just love. Just love. Always go back to love. Always start from that perspective. When you find yourself saying, oh, I love them at a soul level, but oh, I hate their human choices. This is inner work for you. It must start and stop with I love them. No more. Just that. See how empowered you can be and how still the mind is when you're not reminding yourself of their of your frustrations and your judgments and your observations of their choices and how they struggle and flounder around nearly drowning in the density <laughs> don't be worried for them just love them love them that's all you can do is love them. 
And when they come to you and they want to start sharing and talking and sharing their own thoughts and feelings as they're trying to attune to what really is going on for them, listening with an open heart, with open ears and an open mind, it is always going to be the best service you can provide for them. Telling them your answers of solutions. Maybe shortcutting their own learning curves. And maybe the truth that's too poisonous for them at this stage because they are still taking baby steps. So have patience. Hold space for them with your love. Hold space and attention with them with your time. Be patient. Allow. Allow them to grow. Don't keep thinking about them feeling frustrated that they're so limited, they're so small, they're so 3D, they're so human. Because what does that do to your energy field? It densifies you and densifies them as you are thinking about them. And they can feel your judgment, even though they may not be aware of who is sending it to them. And so this is why it is always best to be able to have the approach of, I love them. I love them. I love them. Truly mean it. And when you can truly mean it, that is when you truly can understand and un celebrate yourself for your growth. Celebrate you being an advanced soul, loving all. Because that's truly when you embody that advancement. When you fully have true love for all. And not forgetting self. You know that we have been prompting you to get our material, our physical energy into your homes. And we know that... <laughs> Well, many of you have asked for us to come into your living rooms and expose ourselves to you. We are saying we have, but just not in the way that you're expecting. We have put our energy infused into books, which sounds so strange because you're wanting to see our physical bodies. You're wanting to see if we are naked <laughs> and what does our true forms look like. And we're saying you can close your eyes and feel into that and you can sense it all for yourselves. But for you to still think that you can use your 3D eyes to see us from a different dimension, there is growth for you. And that is fine. We love you still while you're growing. But we want to remind you some facts. <laughs> and so if you sit with our books that we have infused so much of our frequency into, if you simply have that book in your lap and close your eyes and absorb that energy, you know, this is like a love battery from us. And so this is going to help advance you even more because some of you are still holding on to density that you're not quite recognizing. And this could be from other lifetimes. This could be because you don't quite know how to ground yourselves completely. So this could be a whole lot of reasons. And so... <laughs> <laughs> the vehicle is <laughs> the vehicle is saying are you truly trying to sales pitch them and we are saying we're not it is not a sales pitch <laughs> and Dolores Cannon is coming in and she's reminding <laughs> the vehicle how many times did I tell you to buy my books and you keep wondering why would a soul, why would a spirit be trying to hustle and sell books from that state of being? And it's the same as she was saying, it's the same as the Durians are telling you now. It's because the energy infused with the books is pure. And it's got the same wisdom and acknowledgement that you may need to remind yourselves of it is significant. It is completely purposeful where you have placed the books around your homes. It is just like how people 
use the tools of crystals. But we're saying people don't know how to properly program crystals. And they certainly don't know how to recharge, recharge and to release the density from crystals, for example. But we say these books are different because it's like a limb that we have infused upon ourselves into the physical. So it's not. You can't densify. You can't drain. Uh, you can't alter the high frequency state that we've infused into it. Are we wanting to say, hmm. <laughs> this is so cheesy that the, <laughs> the vehicle doesn't want to speak. So we're saying, <laughs> share it. We were showing her angels spreading their wings over the printing machines. But it goes beyond that even. We are... <laughs> We are showing her the lives of the trees. <laughs> the trees lived beautiful lives. They were so connected into Gaia. They were so connected into nature. So connected into all. And they have used their bodies. <laughs> to infuse their love. To be the flesh for the books. <laughs> it's physical infusement into the energy. And we have used our energy, if you will, to bless the print to bless the content, to bless the concepts, to bless the energy. And so while we were showing the vehicle originally, angels with wings holding hands around the printing press that the books were being printed on, it goes beyond more than that, much more than that. But when you don't see all that goes on behind the scenes for us, sending you our love, creating in so many souls, physically and spiritually, have been of assistance. This is important for us. To share this to you, it is not a sales pitch. We want you to have this energy because we know how hard it is while you're getting so drained. When you are supporting others who are still finding their way. <sighs> the vehicle asked us for more support. And we worked out what was the best way to support you all. We are of service for you. To be of service to all who are on this planet. The vehicle is crying. Her eyes are leaking again. Is <laughs> her heart is so open. In gratitude for all of the trees. And for all. Who infuse their love and energy into this. Oh, <sighs> 
<sighs> Out of self love is accepting gifts of love. And this is our love for you. And we say this with so much love in all forms physically and at a soul level this is proof that we have always been there to support you <laughs> <laughs> 